Melanie Clark Pullen has died after losing her battle with breast cancer. The EastEnders actress was diagnosed with the disease in 2019 and sadly died on March 29, aged just 46. Melanie starred in the BBC soap between 1997 and 1999 playing Mary Flaherty, the great-niece of Pauline Fowler. The actress leaves behind her husband Simon and three children. She had been given the all-clear from breast cancer in 2020 but last June received the devastating news that she had a brain tumor. Tributes have been pouring in from Melanie's co-stars and others who knew and loved her. Former EastEnders star Andrew Linford, who played Tiffany Mitchell's brother Simon Raymond, tweeted, How sad to hear we have lost one of the gang. Rip dear Melanie, remembering happy days. Sean Williamson, who played Barry Evans on the soap, penned, This is horrendous news. Rip Melanie. Mark Homer, who played Tony Hills from 1995 to 1999, echoed, Extremely sad news. Really fond memories of working with her. A beautiful person, inside and out, taken far too soon. My love and thoughts are with her family. TV producer and Johnny Vegas ex-wife Maya Dunphy said, Our funny, beautiful, eccentric, creative goddess Melanie Clark Pullen is gone. What a writer you were, what a force of nature, most importantly, what a mama. Your words and your babies live on. Our love and thoughts are with Simon. And writer Rick Popper added, Way too young. Seeing that group shot, it forgotten about the boat holiday. Good times. Up there with the Blackpool holiday. As well as her role in EastEnders, Melanie also appeared in the ITV drama Lady Audley's Secret, a remake of The Railway Children, Doctors and the League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse. Melanie kept her followers up to date about her illness via her blog and Instagram page. Her last post was on March 14, just two weeks before her death, and she looked in good spirits as she visited her father in her birthplace Bray, Ireland. Melanie's most recent blog post revealed that she had been in hospital for three weeks which had given her a bit of perspective. In a heartbreaking excerpt, she wrote, Most of the time I want things to be different. I want my kids to be more compliant. I want my career to have been more successful. I want my husband to find deeper joy rather than the burden that he feels so keenly. I want to be healthy and fit and scar-free and have long flowing gorgeous hair. But this is not my reality and no amount of me wishing will make it so.